Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru Channel. It is September 28, 2016, and the meteor showers are coming in in full force. The meteor scan has been illuminated by streams of meteors coming in for several hours. Now, some of the spikes have been very, very high. When you are looking at the spikes, such as what is on your screen, when you see the white peaks, that means the meteors are larger and much hotter. These have been coming down for several hours. As you can see on your screen, they are coming down in streams of meteors. Now, this is a serious situation in the fact that any one of these meteors could impact the ground. Unfortunately, the meteor scan does not give us a location and it does not give us a size of these meteors. We do not have an early detection system and apparently NASA has dropped the ball because we are getting no reports at all from NASA that this event is occurring. Now back on the 16th and 17th and 18th of this month whenever our channel was reporting on the story about the asteroid being fragmented and destroyed in our updates we did mention that there is going to be a very, very high possibility that we will undergo meteor showers from the fragmented pieces. I did also state that this could last for a few days, a week, or a few weeks. We just don't know because those are huge factors. However, I want everyone to be prepared, stay on top of your information because this information came from several of our Nibiru watchers. Are you serious? Are you serious? Do not miss today's live broadcast. It starts at 12 noon Eastern at my website. Mike from around the world is going to join us. We have to talk about what's going on. Asteroids, meteorites, space junk. What is falling from the heavens or all of it? Now, we do have some report. Mike, and also, Mike told us that, that um, look, when the, when the waves of energy, the five waves of energy, when that second wave gets closer, you're going to see spectacular auroras. Folks, I'm going to show you my next video. I'm going to show you a picture of... Uh, that Jim Keen took out there in Australia. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to blow your mind on an aurora. But, but let me just say quickly, uh, weatherwatch.co.new Zealand, NZ, received a meteor report from all over New Zealand and the entire globe, all right? If you've seen something in the sky, please post the comment below. Well, people did. They are seeing this asteroid, this meteor that come crashing in uh, the other night, actually, and uh, yesterday. As a matter of fact, uh, the International Business Times, the Queen Queensland meteor raises questions on near-Earth asteroid monitoring. We're starting to ask the question because nobody, NASA, nobody told us about what was getting ready to hit yesterday. Nobody. Which shows you that never a straight answer. I mean, NASA is either A, can't catch them all, or is only telling us about the ones that are not dangerous and they're letting everything else fly. Or a little bit of both, okay? Mike from around the world, we've got to ask him. He said this was going to increase. He said it was going to get to where there's no longer a way to hide this thing. Now, Queensland residents reported hearing a loud bang seeing a flash in the sky, feeling the ground shake like an earthquake yesterday. And this has led residents to speculate there was a meteor strike in central Queensland. Now, the reports were coming from residents who live near Gladstone, which is about 400 kilometers north of Brisbane, Australia, according to police. And police say hundreds of calls came in. Owen Benedict, a private astronomer from Wapa Falls Observatory, also got reports from 100 kilometer radius. This thing was big. It lit up the sky. It was a fireball. It, it hit, when it hit the earth, it caused a tremor. An earth, almost, it felt like an earthquake. It wasn't one, but it, it was registered on the Richter scale. It, but it definitely, look, not power. We, people lost power. Um, uh, look, Benedict points out that it's not enough to, uh, being done to monitor the thousands of objects that orbit the Earth. Uh, one, uh, look, one uh, kilometer or bigger in diameter, he says, besides the insufficient research being done on a global scale, there are not enough or observing to do it. Not enough people watching. NASA doesn't have enough techni technology. Uh, he, he observes that when there is a big scare, such as when uh, a comet comes in or something, then everybody kind of gets excited about this. But the truth is, folks, we've got unbelievable amounts of asteroids and meteors that are, uh, we are, we can't dodge them all. We're in a galactical plane. 
Something's shaking the heavens. Jesus said that was going to happen, of course, in Luke 21. He said there, there will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts fail them for fear. We're looking after those things that are coming upon the earth for the power of heaven. The powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall we see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, he said, look up, lift up your head for your redemption draweth nigh. Well, the main, mainstream, mainstream media is ignoring this event. They're ignoring this event because they don't know what to say. And until the White House gives them the words to say, they can't speak because they don't know what to do. Because nowhere on NASA's chart was this, was, was this said it was going to happen. Just like nowhere on their charts did it tell us that the event in February of 2013 would happen. So we're going to ask Mike from around the world. He'll be our live guest at 12 noon Eastern. Do not miss this program. Special Asteroid Report live. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru Channel. It is September 28th, 2016, and the meteor showers are coming in in full force. The meteor scan has been illuminated by streams of meteors coming in for several hours. Now, some of the spikes have been very, very high. When you are looking at the spikes, such as what is on your screen, when you see the white peaks, that means the meteors are larger and much hotter. These have been coming down for several hours. As you can see on your screen, they are coming down in streams of meteors. Now, this is a serious situation in the fact that any one of these meteors could impact the ground. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru Channel. It is September 28th, 2016, and... The meteor showers are coming in in full force. The meteor scan has been illuminated by streams of meteors coming in for several hours. Now, some of the spikes have been very, very high. When you are looking at the spikes, such as what is on your screen, when you see the white peaks, that means the meteors are larger and much hotter. These have been coming down for several hours. As you can see on your screen, they are coming down in streams of meteors. Now, this is a serious situation in the fact that any one of these meteors could impact the ground. Unfortunately, the meteor scan does not give us a location and it does not give us a size of these meteors. We do not have...